So we are the mad scientists. I'm Mad Frankie. This is Violet Igor over here. And uh, together we make the mad scientists. <laughs> there we go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome to all our watchers, our viewers. We're not live or recorded because we're not here. Well, I'm in Wales at the moment. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. we think So I am going to show you what I'm doing. I am now going to move you out of the way without being asked. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> now then, I've got quite a plain gel print here with nothing on it. It's something that you can put things on, but I wanted something to go. Well, and let's explain. Um, this let's is explain. quite an Let's explain, Fran, that this is a continuation of the earlier one we did of what to do. I will. Ideas of what I will. To do. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will. <laughs> Let me get there. This okay. is a very old um, concertina um, book I made <laughs> years and years and years and years ago. So uh, I got this out thinking that this would be a good thing to um, add something to uh, on our theme of uh, what do you do with your gel prints? Because this is what we did on the last one. So that, that was part one. And I've now painted the top and put the pens in. Oh! <laughs> so there we are. That's done. Lovely. I like that. So now I thought well, I could have a go with this and we'll do something else because this is only going to take a very short time to do. I want to put something on here for two reasons. One is that when it is standing up, it's it's so floppy. I mean, it's yeah. see very floppy. So I thought the idea would be a good idea to use a piece of stiffer stuff to add to it. So I was looking through all the things I've got. I didn't want anything that was too startling because it's quite a, a pale thing, this. And I don't want something that's more interesting on the back than there is in the in the middle, in the front. So this was a possibility because there's nothing much on it. But it's definitely not in the right tone area, is it? It really isn't. It's, it's no, I, I wouldn't want to do that. So then I thought, what about using this piece? Now, this is a brayer off sheet that I used, I think, in Wales, I think. And that might work without the red bits, you know, just the cut it to size and put it on there. It's a thinish sheet, but it's better than rice, uh, better than tissue paper. And I've got quite a few bits of tissue paper that would possibly work, but they're so thin already, and I want to make this more stable. So I don't think that's going to work. So I'm not sure about that one either. I mean, there's other bits on there, but no, I'm not really feeling that one either. So what else have we got? Well, we've got some other things here. Now, this might um, work as sort of – it's Ripley Road, Ripley Railroad. Monkey Railroad? I can't remember. It's the Railroad one. That's all wonky and whipply. So, well, maybe if it had been a bit bluer, a bit less green. So, um, I'm not sure. This one is, is nice, but I think it's a bit too good for it, really. A bit too – this is something I would use in a journal, I think. This is nice, but it's rice paper. This is quite nice. Again, it's rice paper. So I don't think so. So I was thinking about – this piece. Now, this is a brayer off piece from when I had a very narrow bit on the other desk, which I'll be going back to shortly. But um, this is quite nice. And I noticed when I was looking through all these that this one actually has a sort of shape that looks a bit like a fish on it. And as this is sea themed, I thought that might work quite well. <coughs> so I think I'm going to go with that one. Once I've got it on here, I can then um, do some um, 
enhancement of that and then that will fit in with the theme of it quite well i think i know it's darker it's not exactly the same color or anything like that <clears throat> but i think if i wait till i've got something quite the wrong color quite the right color i'm going to be waiting forever so i think we'll go with that so i've got to get the bit with the fish on so i think so that almost looks like netting, doesn't it? You know, come in for the fish. I like that. So I think somewhere about there. Give or take a bit. Want a little bit to go just under there. So I'm going to cut it. There. I reckon I can cut a little shiver off there. But the thing I can do is simply to glue it in place already. I can ease that away from there with just a tiny bit. Like that. And I can get that underneath. Like that. And that's going to make it more secure for bending purposes, I reckon. <coughs> for purposes of bendment. <coughs> because I've noticed, you know, when you do this sort of thing, if I did it there, just dead on that edge, all you'd get would be this bit lifting all the time every time you opened and closed it, and it would show it up there. So if I can get that underneath, <coughs> that much, I think that's going to work better. Like that. Now there's something underneath. I think it's... Um, oh, it's something that's on the other side, so I've got to be careful of that. Fran, is, the that, best way to do is that a Japanese stab binding? That's no, no, the binding. It's glue. It's only glue. Okay, you that is that. just um, <clears throat> that's another piece of card with the same wallpaper. This oh, wallpaper. okay, okay. Put on top and holes punched all the way through, um, just through this bit, so that I attached my little bits to that then i glued this piece on so okay. it's enclosed in there you can't see it you see? it's like a foam no. Japanese binding. Oh, yeah. well i didn't know it at the time i just wanted to put a nice decorative thing there it's not actually binding anything whatsoever <clears throat> so i reckon if i can do the same there if i give it about that much may not be able to get it to go under to the same amount but I may if I can't I can just cut it a bit more <coughs> now I'm going to shave a bit off there and in order to get it straight because this is straight I'm going to hoik out something to do that with what am I going to hoik out to do that with yeah. Have I got something cutty around here? The other option, of course, is just to put it onto a cutting board, which I've got one underneath here, and <clears throat> cut it with a ruler. So I think I'll do that. I've got a cutty thing, but actually I found that um, <clears throat> I've got guillotines, you know, cutters. What's the other word for them? Do you remember? Paper cutters? Is that what you're talking about? Cutters, yeah. The one where they slide up, yeah. I've got some of those, but I found that when using them, you don't always get a straight edge. You think you've got a straight edge, but you actually haven't. So, let's move that away. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I haven't got to that just yet. So, those papers. So, I can get this all the way on here and uh, cut like this. <coughs> So I'm going to put it on there, put this to one side for a moment. 
get a metal rule. <clears throat> you can see this is heckish wonky. So I'm going to cut a straight edge there. If I make that edge straight, I can't see whether it's straight or not. Let's turn it this way around so I can see. <clears throat> Right, I'm going to have to do it that way round and just get my head up so I can see it. I'll stand up and try and line it up a bit better. That's better. So if I cut it there, Going off the line. Yeah, felt it go through then. That's better. So if I can, let's just check before we do another cut. Don't want to cut too many. <coughs> Probably have to trim it again anyway. Now, can I ease this away from here? doesn't matter if it's a bit less but uh, let's try with now we know we've got one straight line let's try to get another one There's my fishy. Oh, lovely. Look at that. That's good. And all without a single measurement. <laughs> yeah, has a bit of net from the other side of the book. So if I can stick this down, the best way is going to be to do it this way around. Um, and stick it on to that, like that. So let's put some glue down. Right now I'm going to turn this over. You can see why I, it was lumpy. And I'm going to have to trim it, but that's okay. So now we'll go to here, like this. And now we can put this on the straight bit. I remember doing this when I was up in uh, Cumbria. Because we were quite close to the sea there. You could walk to it from our house. It wasn't exactly close, but you could walk to it. 
I've never been a walker, so if I say it's not exactly close, it's probably fairly close. <laughs> yeah, I was never a walker. My cousins, um, Richard and Robert, were both great walkers. Absolutely loved it. In fact, my cousin Richard's website um, address or whatever is Walking the Islands. He's interested in some islands. Wow, you should give me that link. I used to love the walk. I think it's a charity. Something to do with that. Because he's a, he's a Buddhist monk now, my cousin Richard. I think he's now called Danaketu. Something like that. He did tell me, but... To me, he'll always be my cousin Rich, so it's hard to remember. Take these out of the way and carefully put this down like that. Squidge that into the gap, and there we are. course I'll have to add a bit more glue to the board because it's now coming out so I can glue the other side as well same with this one in there ah oh my poor hand <laughs> Right, there's that one. Same with this one. And it's just slightly more fiddly. Need a glue squeezer. Is there such a thing as a glue bottle squeezer? Yeah, that would be a friend or a third man. Yeah, that would be go and wake Ian up. <laughs> but I can't. He's going to work tomorrow. So I'll stay for a week. See, he has this coming week off. Yep. So does Russ. Oh, I bet they're twins, really, you know. <laughs> I think this is the easiest way.
supposed to be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully. Whew. So there we are. There is a nice, long and laborious process of using a gel print. Ta-da! Now you just got it to behave and fold correctly. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to leave it to um, stick like yeah. that. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put it a book on top of it and put it away. But it will end up, hopefully, like that. And then I can go over that and turn that into a proper little fishy. And then we will have a fishy on our dishy. And there's another way that to you use Here's your gel plate. Here's your gel print. Yep. So there. So there. I might have to add a bit more glue in that center, but in the meantime, there we go. So the another way that I didn't mention before of using gel prints is use it on a canvas as a background which is what I did with this one some time ago this is a gel print on the back of the canvas okay. this is not yet stuck down and I've got to uh, have a go with my now that I've got all those um, uh, things for setting uh, uh -huh. what do you call it? Um, uh -huh. Island setter and and okay. and uh, press stud snap fastener. That's the word I was looking for. Snap fastener. So I've got dies for doing that now. So now I can do that when I want to. So there we are. I'll be able to finish that off and then hang it on the wall. another one and then we mentioned using it on a journal which is something that a lot of people do the gel print for in the first place got this one so there's a ready to go journal front and back covers what I've got to do is um, put something on the front and something on the inside, something on the back. So let's have a think about that one. Okay. Before we go any further. Okay. So what should okay. we put on it? Quite a few things I could use. I mean, I've got quite a lot of gel prints now. I've got... Um, that map chest in the other room that's got loads in it. So you just pour all our eyes while she's waiting for me to find them. Sorry? Are you saying that you really don't need to make any more gel prints? No, I'm not saying any such thing. <laughs> I make them for fun. They are relaxing to make, they are great fun to use and to make. I agree. And I, I'm not going to give them up just because I've got lots of them already. No way. I'm sorry, but no way. I quite like this. It might work on the front. I could have different front and back and then something else on the spine. That is possible. Maybe. Uh, what else have I got? I could go for golds, like bronzes and coppers. That's quite nice. I had a one with some Egyptian writing on it. What was that one? I think I'm going to put these rare off things on the floor because there's rather a lot of them. Uh, 
cluttering the place up a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> That's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one. That would be a well with the with that one even. Hmm. Possible, possible. Nice. It's the one, the companion one to that one, because one of them was the first pull and Tuller was the second. Some are in this big pile. That's rather nice. I like that. That's quite nice as well. The trouble is, I like so many of them, it's blooming difficult to choose. I really want something light for this. So this is an occasion where tissue paper would work very well. But this paper will also work, I believe. I'm thinking. This is lovely, but I don't think that would work. Well, if you have a scheme or you have a color scheme in mind, that helps when you're choosing your... Yeah, it would. Can you think of one? <laughs> I don't want to limit it to that just yet. I don't want to... I mean, the other one was, was sort of quite, quite pale. What was it? I think the piece I'm looking for is the other companion piece to that. That's not the piece I'm thinking of, but I think the piece I am thinking of. Yeah. What's that piece over there? Now that's nice. That would make a lovely cover, back and front cover. <clears throat> Loads of dragons on the sheets here from when I did the dragon. Oh, Patricia said she liked the dragons, and it sounded from the way she said it as if they'd um, given them to her. So that is it. They Has that, um, Mariah given the dragons to Patricia? There it is. That's the one I was thinking of. That's, it is not in the same theme at all, but I was thinking of that. Because it's got the writing that I tried to do in as close as I could remember offhand of uh, Egyptian writing. So I don't know. So there you go. So there you go. Yep, so there we go. I mean, maybe I could do that on the inside or maybe I could cut, do something like that and cut it out and put it on the front on top of the other sheet. So that, that's a possibility. And, of course, I've got the asymmetric writing there. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm heading towards Egyptian things at the moment. <clears throat> I do like that. I really like that. And that goes for that one. Those two are good. 
I'm going to put that one away. I think we better put that one away. Um, where did that one? So let's spin it down a bit. Back. Could you go? I could. I could use one of those for the inside cover, I reckon. That's a possibility. And I'm thinking, I quite like is it it's going to be too small. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I think it might be too small. Just the faintest bit too small. So back to that option of... Um, using it on one side and not the other. And not on the, um, yes, I could do that. There would be room for that. If I cut out the spine and just do these two sheets like that, I can get them on. And have enough to fold over is what I'm thinking. So that would work. <clears throat> I think we'll go with that. Let us do that. So I've got to cut it down the middle. That away. And cut it down there. Yep, that's where I'm going to cut it. <clears throat> yeah. Measure a lot of times and then finally get round to cutting. Is that what I'm going to say? I do that and I end up like daddy dad always said you know, the carpenter. Measure twice, cut mm -hmm. once. Well, I measure twice, cut once, and I still do it wrong. So you no know, and it, it cut three times. There we go. You can never get it right when you want to. <clears throat> I think that's going to work quite well. <clears throat> right, let's see if we can persuade some glue to come out of this thing. <laughs> it's another reason why I store my glue bottles nozzle down so that the glue is always right there. Guess what? I tried that once. Once was enough. It came out in a glob. Oh, yeah. Lots of it came out in the jar that I was holding it in and stuck it to the bottom of the jar. This is where we can insert heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, breathe the glue. Breathe the glue. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go over this again because I swear it looks like it's all dried up.
I'm going to have a drink of tea for a bit because um, my hand's killing me. Cup of tea, cup of tea. Just let it drip out. It probably just drip out now. Did I mention inches? Can't remember if I did. There's an inchy. Another thing you can do with uh, gel prints. Once I got the gel print on there, I then went over it with um, some stencil butter type stuff. But it was, I think it was the eye zinc ones. Texture paste, they call it. I think. Well, like, you can go back to the one you just did, the little concertina, and you could go back with your uh, pencils or Posca pens or whatever it is you use and highlight that little fishy. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do. That's yeah, the idea. It was a, um, it was a <laughs> happenstance. Um, I was sitting there for hours trying to find something that would work, and then I was given up and went and had a look in my um map chest and i was pretty long time there and all wasn't i you were beginning to think i'd gone to sleep i bet you before we started the stream that's just taking so long and having it ah. and then when i saw that fish it was like oh <laughs> Excellent choice for that book. Took one heck of a lot of choosing. I won't say anything. Okay, I'm an idiot, but I'm my kind of idiot. All right. <laughs> Instead of, idiot, idiot. instead of idiots say goofball or doofus or something like that, that's acceptable. I'm strange. There you go. I, I do the, I'm such a ditz. All right. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> there, exactly. I'm, right. I'm a work in progress. Oh, yeah. It's never going to be finished. That'll do. As I'm fed up with that. Right. Let's go to this one. And we'll do the little necky trick. Lovely. So we want a piece. Oh. That far off. 
I'm just cutting the corners. Good. And this one. <clears throat> So we want it to cut just now. Very good, very good. Doesn't matter quite so much with those. Ditto this side. I'm only making a score mark there so that I can see where to cut it properly. That way. I don't cut through onto the board. Might go over this with some um, matte medium or gloss medium. I think this is one that's had gloss medium over it. Not sure. It doesn't feel like it there. But there's a slight stickiness here. I thought maybe the glue would come through, but I don't think it is. I don't think it's that. Well, if it's the um, if it's the medium that's being sticky, if you have a little bit of beeswax. Yeah. Pop that on there gently, like a candle or 
Uh, Gwyn had some beeswax. Can't remember what I did with it, but she had a lump of it. Where did I find that? Can't remember where I found it. Somewhere. I think I brought it back with me last time. I'm not entirely sure. So if you brought it back with you, it might still be in whatever container or box that you put, you know, that you brought back. Probably. Probably, yep. Very likely. There we go. That one down first there, and then that will overlap. That's lovely. Now, I've got all this ready. Oh, I haven't done these two. Hang on. Oh, that's not done, is it? I haven't done this side. Then from there, oh, hello. So, we've got that far. Now, something to go on the inside. I really need are two pieces pretty similar or two pieces totally dissimilar. I still like that, but we've got the blue there already, so I'm not so keen on it looking at it with that. Quite like that. Yeah. I still like that one. What do you think? I don't know. Violet? I'm here. Oh, I'm, you think I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I, I mean, let me see the front. Man, I love. Man. 
back to the inside. Different there. Like that. I do like that with it. I know. I'm just wondering if, if well, yeah, it won't interfere with the cover because the cover's on the other side. So, mm -hmm. I, well, I we'll have this bit of the cover here, you see. So it's not too bad. No, it isn't. I like it. I, I like don't it. clash with it or anything or detract from it. I think it's quite good. But what about the back? I don't think there's something for the back. Well, if you wanted to leave the back alone, you could take that gold piece and put it over there. Hmm? What? What, this? Yeah. Well, I moved it away because I wasn't so sure about that. Well, you're going to have pages. Imagine you're going to have signatures in between. So it's they're not going to be next to each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to see them both at the same time. And when I didn't have that piece and I had just that bit, I quite liked that. But I think it would be better as a back than as a front, you know. I agree. I'm just looking through a bit more just to see if there's anything else that strikes me. They're both tissue, which is nice. I mean, you're not, you're, if I let that go all the way over, it's not going to stay there anyway because I'm going to put another piece down there, aren't I? Yeah, I think that's a better combo. I, I do think that's a better combo. question is that piece or I think I like those But as you say, you're not going to see the, the combination, are you? Because you're going to have pages in the middle. Might be quite nice to turn over and find that looking at you. Well, just so you oh, know, no. book, book even, the, even the back pages or the inside cover pages, that flap that you keep folding, that goes underneath your sheet. Why? Well, not that we're dealing with the norm, but that is the norm on how you do a book binding, a book cover. That's the way I normally do it, yeah. But why? <laughs> why not fold it in like that and then you get the... The contrast between the two. I quite oh, like I'm, I'm fine with it. I just wasn't sure you knew that it didn't have to be that way. Yeah. Normally, I do it that way. Yeah. That's what I normally do. But I think with it being tissue, it's going to look better if this is stuck down to the board and then that is stuck over the top just because of the nature of the tissue. Okay, let's not do normal then. Why not? Mm. I have no objection to disturbing the norm. I'm just going to trim that edge there. Am I? Am I going to trim that edge? You're not even going to see it. And that's going to close over. I was just so pleased with the way I got those two to close over. 
and meat, nice and neatly. I think I'll put a blob of glue on there. Let's see if I can get any glue out. Maybe not. <laughs> Come on, glue out. Have I got a thingy push? I've usually got a couple of thingy pushes. Here's one. Let's just go for it, see what happens. You're going to be out of glue. Nope, it's just coming out of its own accord at its own speed. Its speed is not the same as my speed, that's all. No, I said you're going to run out of glue. I'm going to, yeah. But I think I've got another thing of this. If not, it's, it's not that far, it's about half. I need need to get some more eventually. Yeah, I like to buy them. I, last time I bought them, I bought them in pairs, and the time before that, I bought them in a pair, which was good. But I still had one there, but yeah, I'm gonna run out of if I don't take care. This is one of the most boring things you can do: gluing, I think, with a bottle that just won't let it out. I mean, when I first got this stuff, it came out really easy. Isn't that always the way with glue? It got old. It got cold. Very likely. All through the summer, yeah. <laughs> Been doing it for a while now. Beastly thing. Of course, I left it in there when it was doing its... Um, they were doing the... Do no, I didn't. I brought it in here. It's been in a really nice little warm room. Can't even have that excuse. Right. I know people do that a lot of measuring, but uh, I just didn't, did I? And I'm going to cover this ragged edge that I'm just cutting now up with the spine piece that I'm going to put in. So that don't matter either. Just Whew. right, let's have some more glue, even more glue, 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 and more glue. Yeah, I need to speed this up if you're not watching this at six times or two times or something. You maybe you should think about that. Yeah. Good, good, good. 
Same again. <clears throat> it's going a bit faster now because I've covered the big areas. Make sure I've got some under that edge. It seems to be a bit loose. <clears throat> Lovely. <clears throat> I quite like that. So if we've got that far, and I'm thinking of that one for there, or perhaps, yeah, I think perhaps that way around. I like that better. I think I like that better. Yes. Either way looks good to me, but you choose. I think I like that way better. Let's start to dry up. Right. I think I'll just uh, put that down because I am going to put that bit in the middle, but then I don't get any funny gaps like I just made a cut there. So. There we go. Now, these edges. Now we do this one first again. 
And I can go underneath this edge here where it didn't stick because I didn't put the glue far enough over. You might have to do touch up here and there, but for the most part, I think you got it covered. Well, hopefully. I think it's only that little bit. Right. Oh, and that little bit. And keep in mind, you're going to pull that, those edges over to hold it Yeah, down. I just wanted something firm of to glue to, that was all. I like it when it starts to speed up a bit when you get to this point. Why can I never do a straight line? Got some sort of funny jerk in my hands. I can be uh, drawing a perfectly straight line, you think, and um, suddenly, you know, your pen goes, woof! Very, very much mark smaller than that, but it does it. And I you have, say, what did it do that for? Just, Didn't want to do that? Yep, I have just a slight twitch, but mine is, I think, more much more often than yours. I think yours, in this case, if it's happening now, your hand is tired of squeezing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely tired of squeezing. Absolutely. So, um, now there's something you can use. There's that Yes Paste you can use for this kind of job. I've tried Yes Paste, and basically, I didn't like it. It was right. so. I have some too. There, you have to be aware of some glues are more wet than others, and yes, paste is. Yeah, you have to go learn the different glues and what to use them for. Because again, I used a too wet paste on a cloth project, and the, the paste, the glue came through. Yeah. Very well. Yes, I think it's the. I think Nick the booksmith uses yes paste, so it must work. She must know how to use it better than me because I tried it and I did not like it. But there's others. You can get bookbinding glue. You can use PVA, but I mean, PVAs are, are very varied. If you're going to use a PVA, get as thick a one as you can, which sounds counterintuitive when you're trying to force it through a thing like this. But this is not... A PVA. This is a um, solvent-based glue. This one, Fabri-Tac, because I can smell it. So it's it dries without so much wrinkling. That's why you use it on these things, because when it dries, it doesn't wrinkle. It doesn't put water into the paper. Right. That's. Exactly. That's what I was saying about using some paints uh, or some glues have are too wet, too much liquid, yeah. and it will wrinkle papers like that. So exactly. So another thing you can use, I've heard some people use, is that um, uh, red tape that's double sided, and it's supposed to be really, really strong. Well, it might be when you first get it, but I've got some that I bought years and years ago, um, but and it's no good now. So you need that fairly fresh, that stuff. But it's a dry glue because you put it on, you peel one side off, put it down, peel the other side off. You've seen people doing cards using that all the time because it keeps everything flat. But there we are. I'm not using it. I think you can even buy it in sheets. I don't know how big a sheet, but I've seen people using it on cards that size. Sometimes yeah. they use it in strips like that, and sometimes they just cut a sheet and you put it down. You don't realize what they've done. You think, what, what the heck was that? <laughs> that was but I was thinking, you know, that could put great. that in the center. Like that. Possibly. Well, you're going to lose it, um, and you're just going to see bits of it yeah. when well, it's not got a, a particularly definite pattern on it, so I thought that would be quite nice. And I could do that on the outside as well. 
I think that might work quite nicely. What do you think? Okie dokie. I mean, I can use another thing if you think something else would work better. I just quite like that one. If you don't need it for reinforcement, you could also just paint that area with some copper color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, I have some. Or, or I could use some of this. It's iron on that one. Or. I could use some, uh, oh, it's not here. You know, I've got the similar, oh, here it is. It's lower down. Some of that. Piece of copper foil. Could do that. That's a possibility. I don't know. I think I quite like the idea of that. It's not as um, in your face as, as copper foil. And it's quite, I quite like that. I don't know. I just do. Well, then you should do that. Hmm. I could have a look and see if there's any more similar colour or slightly different colour. Could go for a bit of that. Well, you know, I could um, just use the gel plate and make some more on uh, a bigger sheet because there's not much to fold under. So what I'm thinking about with that, not much that's fold underable on that. I'd have to cut it off flush. I could do that. Or I could um, do some on the 12 by 14 plate and use it on an A3 sheet. A2 sheet, I mean. And uh, then I wouldn't have enough. But I don't know. Let's have a look at the other side. Well, you stay there. Let's have a look at the other side. I don't think I really want it to. Fold over. I don't know that I need it to fold over. I mean, should I take it to there? Or just do this bit there? And if I do that... There. Then it's got to be there. Are you overthinking it, maybe? I'm just thinking where to cut it. It wants to glue things down when I don't want it glued down. <laughs> Not yet.
Let's see if that fits. I might have to cut another bit if it doesn't. But if it does... Hmm. Right. So I'm going to do this one wider so that uh, when it creases, it's not pulling it up. All right. So I've only cut. Where did I cut? Oh, there it is. So I can't see what I'm doing now. There it is. There. <coughs> so I'm going to stand up for this so I can get a nice smooth cut. Oh, dropped it. that let's fold this to find the center which is there so I put the center right in the middle of that there like that All right <coughs> Now, before I go any further, cut this edge. You know, I'm looking at that thinking that would make a really lovely quilt. Yeah. What well, this? Well, that the whole thing. I love the whole thing. <laughs> a quilt. No, that's a compliment indeed. Thank you. It's Tyvek under here, painted black. So it's got a good bit of oomph to it.
add some good strength to that spine. Certainly hope so. Hate to have done it for nothing. <laughs> it is supposed to add strength, Tyvek. So they keep saying, and it's a breathable membrane. Way well, hey, don't help much with a book. Didn't quite get close enough to the edge. I always hate to go too far because you just end up with a mess on your on this. I'm getting it there. Not so bad on that side. It's just this side there isn't any. Now there's too much. Well, where's the uh, <clears throat> where's my nice kitchen roll? Oh, there it is. Well, there we go. It's wiping off the excess glue. There we go. And another project using gel plate prints. Ta-da! Ta-da! There you go. I like that. I like it. I can put some on the inside of this as well. If I wanted to. Which I probably do. Or I could use some... Um, some of those uh, things I was showing you earlier, which I now don't know where I put, <laughs> but you could um, line up with that. Oh, with your sheets, you know, it's uh, different. Yeah, you just had them in your hand. I just before you cleaned up, that is. Yeah, well, there you go, you see. That's what happens when you clean up. You lose things. Never been a good idea. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, that's something to think about for another time. In the meantime, I think we're about done with all these. I mean, I've still got some little strips, and I'm sure there are things you could do with that. I mean, you could uh, attach that to uh, something else and turn it into a belly band. I don't really like that expression. Mine would have to be very big to go around my belly. <laughs> So I'm not keen on the expression at all. There you go. You've got uh, a nice... Don't take it personal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's enough from us today. Let's bring back Violet. There she is. She's got the um, mute on so that she doesn't have the echo. We don't really cannot figure out what this echo is caused by. We've tried everything to figure it out, and we can't. So I think we've done. Oh, I know what I must do. But don't forget to do this when you're doing all your... Yes, put your thing in. <laughs> there it is. It was hiding. Always put your little glue top on. In fact, I should have done that earlier. But so there we are. So we'll just leave it with that. There we are. Done. Finished. Finito. All there. And next time, maybe we'll do a bit of him when I come back from Wales, maybe. Okie dokie.
So thank you. So we will say leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up and we will see you on the flip side. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too boring. Actually, that's wrong way around. It's that way around. That's the front. That's the back. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here we go. Bye bye. End one. End. <laughs>